If you're a bivocational pastor, then this special Flash episode is just for you. I'm Pete Mitchell, and in between our regular Church Planner podcast episodes, I'll be bringing you insight and ideas to help our bivo pastors have an easier and more profitable go at it. If you'd like more info on the training program specifically for bivocational pastors, you can check it out at missionbybusiness.com. You know, because of all of the uh, videos that I do, being on the podcast, uh, running Church Planner Magazine, um, because I'm the business guy, right, Peyton's the, the pastor and the church planner, and I show bivocational pastors and church planners how they can have a side income, I tend to get, uh, I, I tend to get a lot of the, the hate mail. Um, in fact, uh, Peyton and I have talked about this before on the Church Planner podcast. Um, I get more hate mail from pastors, and I'm going to put quotes here, Christians, than I do from anyone else any other group I work in, real estate, uh, the car industry, literally the car industry is the coolest industry I work in. How ironic is that, right? Um, So like I was just looking at some comments and I had to delete them because I'm like, all right, this is is someone who just doesn't get it. What's kind of interesting to me though is usually what I'm being called out for is you're talking to people about money. You know, why aren't you just talking about the gospel? Well, first of all, I'm not a pastor. Right? I work with a pastor. I am the business guy. I'm the one who shows bivocational pastors how they can, if they're self-employed, how they can improve their business, make more money. Um, and what is the result of making more money? The result of making more money means you're giving more value to your clients. The more value you give and provide, the more certificates of value they give to you. We know that as money. Now, because money or the love of money can be the root of all evil. We say money is evil. Well, money's not evil. Money is neither evil nor good. It's just a thing. It's what we use to transact uh, business back and forth. Uh, you have apples, I want apples, I give you the certificates of value, and you give me your apples. That's a trade. That's all money is. Now, the love of money is completely different. If your God is money, then you're going to have all kinds of issues. If what you do as a living uh, becomes more important to you than shining, uh, being a a light, let me put it like that, being a light for the gospel in your community, then there's a problem. But to say that, you know, uh, it's evil or to have another job or to, you know, not be poor is somehow a bad thing. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't, I don't know how we've managed to jack up the gospel so much. I mean, we've got the prosperity gospel on the other side, and then we've got, you know, this, we, we got to be poor, uh, have holes in our socks. Our kids have to be rejected by uh, their peers because they come to school smelly and with holes in their pants. I mean, I, I don't know how this has happened, but it has. So I want to encourage you that the better you are at business, the more value you are providing to your community. If you are an employer, if you're a bivocational person and you're an employer, you've got people who work for you. You have your church and you have another church that you're a pastor of. It's your business. All of your clients, all of your uh, employees, they look to you. Are you living a Christian influence or are you a Christian who has a business? Like there's a difference between a Christian who has a business and a Christian who is in business. And they've decided, hey, the way I'm going to run my business is a certain way. There are certain things I'm going to do, certain things I'm not going to do. But my main goal is to bring glory to God and to to uh, to let people know both my employees and my community how much I care about them. So I just, I bring that up because I want you to be thinking about that. There is nothing wrong with making money. There's nothing wrong with it. Not a thing. Now, if that's all your obsession is, then there is an issue, right? It has become your idol. But everybody needs money. Every single person. Uh, That's why pastors at a church, they get paid by the church. Why? Because the pastor can't afford to live on nothing. So I'm just going to throw that out there. It's not, 
an evil thing to make money. Now, the good news for everybody, the good news, and the good news for me, I've been promise you, promising you for the last couple of days that I got a new training that I was going to put up. I literally just put it up about five minutes ago. It's about 4.30 right now on Friday. Just put it up about five minutes ago. If you have seen the training before, you got to go back and watch this one. It's going to blow your mind. I threw out basically, here's here's a, a an example of exactly what we do for a business. Um, and we restructured the program. This is for people who weren't ready for the full-blown consulting program. I think it's the perfect step for someone who's like, I'd like to do this, but you know what? I can't afford that. I'm telling you, go back and watch this. It'll blow your mind. Now, it may not be for you. In fact, that's why it's a not a just join program. You're going to have to actually call me. We're going to talk on the phone and we're going to see if it's right for you. And by the way, when we talk on the phone, I don't let you buy anything. You won't be able to give me your credit card or anything like that. That is literally a time for us just to talk. So here's what I want you to do right now. Head on over to missionbybusiness.com. Missionbybusiness.com. Watch the training that I set up over there. I think you're going to like it. In fact, I know you're going to like it. You're going to love it. And if it makes sense to you like it makes sense to me, then click the button on there, schedule a call with me. We'll get on the phone. We'll talk. If you want your spouse to be on the call, I'll talk and answer any question that you've got. Walk you through anything that you have questions about and show you how you can do this, how this can be a huge impact on your community. So I want to encourage you, go do that right now. Head on over to missionbybusiness.com. I'm Pete Mitchell with the Church Planner Podcast and Church Planner Magazine. I'll talk to you later. Take care.